So I'm Ollie, uh, training with Mike, Mike Fox from uh, Train by Fox, and been here since February. Um, it's been a long, long way to kind of come to this far, come to this stage where I actually think I needed a coach. Um, and that stems from childhood. Um, I was spoken to Mike recently about being the, the fat kid in school, having school swimming sessions where basically I've just faked sickness just to, to not go because I had complete and utter phobia of taking my top off. Um, so I've always had that, I guess, that mindset of, um, yeah, going to a gym is, is really not for me, but there's something in the gym and we'll go see my dad later. Um, and I think he started me off with all of this because sitting down as a kid, watching Rocky films, Commando, Predator, yes, as an eight year old Predator is probably not the greatest thing to watch, but you know, you see these guys, Arnold, Sylvester Stallone, they are huge, huge guys. And that kind of set the, set the, the mindset of, of what I wanted to become getting into you know watching wrestling as a kid hulk hogan undertaker i've always been tall and it wasn't until i think me my dad went to my uncle's garage and my uncle turned around and he said you're this big and you you need to do something with it so i started going to the gym started training and i i just generally just started lifting weights so you know, bought the magazines, um, muscle and fitness, men's health. Um, but I think the problem was that these guys, they are absolute monsters to begin with. Nobody really shows you how people start out. So this is a reason why I wanted to, to do this video in that this is me starting out um, from February to now and then maybe another 18 months you know two years maybe up until the age of 40 uh four years time so it's something that i wanted to document that i can look back on um that my kids can can look back on and, and kind of see the journey from now to to then later on um but that's realistically why i wanted to to start off at you know going to the gym um, luckily I'm in a position with my job, with the work that I'm able to now focus on doing things like having a coach and setting the time aside to go to the gym and, and make that a real priority until the, the baby arrives at the end of July. Do you want to quickly go over what, you, what it is you do for a living? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer. Um, been a lawyer for six years now. Um, if you've ever seen the series Suits, yeah, I, literally somebody followed me around with a camera. Um, so I, I was in a number of jobs, uh, worked in the shop, worked in a building society, um, I worked in a call centre dealing with people's complaints and by the end of that I just thought, you know what, I scoured the, the internet looking for any kind of job vacancy copied and pasted my CV everywhere and a law firm in Derby called me up with uh, an interview and I had no idea that I had even applied for it I thought it was some sort of joke um, so I got there memorized the, the website uh, in the car park uh, impressed them in my interview and <laughs> they gave me a job um, and it wasn't until a few days later I turned around to the guy I was I was assisting and said Mate, I'm sat next to some of the smartest people I've ever come across. What's happened? I said, no, no, you, you've got common sense. And, th and that's something that you can't really teach. So um, we, can, we can teach you the law, but we can't teach people common sense and good, good life skills. So they showed me the way. They put me through my, my, uh, my stripes, got my badges. Um, and now I, I'm, I'm at another firm in Derby where uh, I'm kind of I'm able to kind of implement what I've learned to that firm so 
yeah, it's been a bit of a bit of a roller coaster. I started off as Mike Ross, and now I'm a bit of a Harvey Specter. <laughs> and how do you fit your training in around you uh, being a lawyer? Um, do you know what? It's it's always something that Sorry. just start off. Uh, obviously, because I when I'm talking, I won't yeah. put that in the video. So if you, if you just start off with like as a lawyer, I find I, yeah, yeah, I fit my training around it. So yep. that sort of thing. So uh, work being a lawyer is unbelievably stressful and another reason why I wanted to do the the video is because I wanted to highlight how much a key support network you need in order to go to the gym to reach your physique goals whatever they may be you know I've got, I've got Laura um, but work will always come first because that pays my bills but the gym kind of acts as a, a double-edged sword to this because it keeps me completely balanced no matter how hard the day is no matter how tough it is i know full well at the end of the day i'll go to the gym i've got two hours where i can really just be me doesn't matter suit comes off nobody cares nobody you know looks at you it's just you it's the weights it's your plan and really it, it just gets me back to a, to an even keel so yeah just on just over 2000 calories at the moment which i I have, well, I had an obscene love for pizza and sandwiches, um, but it's, some, it's something that I thought I would really struggle with, and I don't know if that's because it's still new and it's st I'm still in like the, the the honeymoon phase of training or, or what I don't know, but um, no, you have the odd day where you you are hungry, you are a bit snappy and a bit tired, but. I've not really, not really suffered all, all that much. It's it's not been too bad. I suppose the difficulty is when you you do go to places with your mum, dad, and family, and it's hard that they're having cake and ice cream, and you're sat there with your little Tupperware box. But I, I think those are the times where you you can kind of put yourself ahead of of the curve a little bit and try and get the nutrients in that, you, that your body needs so yeah it's it has been tough but not not overly tough just yet i think the worst is probably yet to come so just been to my parents um something that we usually do on a sunday usually Sunday mornings just to go have breakfast with them um, kills me in one sense because Laura has a nice big fat breakfast or a bacon cob and I'm there with my, uh, my rice and my chicken um, but it's nice to see them um, they have more of a social life than I do um, and it was a weekend where we had my daughter Poppy so she stopped there last night and it was a birthday, so delivered her presents. Um, we are now en route to Physique Evolution, a gym in which I've been going to for the last year. And we're gonna meet Dean there, who, Dean is another athlete with Trained by Fox, um, and somebody with a vast amount of knowledge, um, not only from the gym, but from bodybuilding in general. So meet up with Dean, we've got a nice pool session ready to uh, to get ready for um, and hopefully put me through my paces a little bit which would be interesting. Go again. Go again. 
So, so far, two exercises in. Already, I'm reaping the benefit of training with somebody with far more superior knowledge. I said earlier, there's a time to work with people and there's a time to do it by yourself. And if you can do it when no one's looking, that's what counts, but this is brutal. And it gives everything a funky name, like we're gonna do a Widowmaker set. Who does a Widowmaker set? I'm, I don't know if I'm scared or excited or what.
The Widowmaker by name. Widowmaker by nature, I think. That was absolutely brutal. I've never done anything like that before. And I'm sweating out of places I've never even sweat before. My God. Yeah, that was, that was cool. I need all the wins, yeah. Pay no L's, I gotta get a no call and quits, yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah. Better move out the way, cause I'm coming with harder hits. My head is as hard as a brick, but I'm harder than all it is. You better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out. You better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out. You better move, you might get knocked out. Success ain't no giving, some days I don't hit, I don't slay When I'm focused, I'm dying, just down, wonder when I'm anxious Ain't no limit till I tank, I'm running on fumes The hopper system don't amaze, the roads racing through the pavement Get your hands out of my bag, I know that's because I've been in it I don't need to brag, I guess that's what happens When you taking care of your business, but some family, you do the math I'm out of my pocket, Houston, we got a problem, I ain't perfect Let them watch me, elevating, got them nuts Cause I'm the pilot in the cockpit, nose diving in the house And whoo, watch how I get ahead, watch how I get ahead, watch how I get ahead Whoo, watch how I set it up, bet you I shut it down, watch Really wanna come, I guess the one got a finger run up and on a grenade. I ain't never been to what you think you compare to my line, but the one about the cage. I need all the wins, yeah. Pay no L's, I gotta get a no call and quits, yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah. Better move out the way, cause I'm coming with harder hits. My head is as hard as a brick, but I'm harder than all it is. You better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out. You better move, you might get knocked out. Just come home from the gym. It's changed, it's changed me forever. And uh, Dean certainly knows his stuff completely. And put me through my paces. Um, hard, hard session. I literally feel broken. But this excites me. This is this is exactly what I wanted. It's not only put myself in this position but to train with somebody that you know he didn't he didn't have to spend the time today to train with me and I think that's what makes train by Fox you know so different because we've got a group chat all all the guys in there similar mindset similar goals um, and they're so so friendly so so approachable I could literally message anybody in that chat and just ask them a question and I know full well they have no issue in, in, in responding so good session excited for tomorrow in the past four months training with Mike being part of the team it's been I'll be the first person to say I don't really make friends all that well um, but feeling part of the team it's just giving me that bit more confidence I've got such a better relationship with food I've got such a better relationship with clothing 
like it sounds it sounds completely stupid um, but the confidence it's bought the mood that it's kind of put me in I've got so much more energy to spend time with my dog spend time with my family do you know go for walks just my mindset is so much better physically I feel great mentally I feel fantastic it, it's, it's unreal and you combine that with the day-to-day -day strains and stresses of life and you know you, you know full well that that's nothing that's nothing you can overcome that dead dead easy